So three, two, one. Who are you? Hi, I'm Alex and I'm the habit coach. So what are you doing? Currently my 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 time that I that I spend most of most of the weekdays, I try to grow personally on my on a personal level. And um I, I kind of figured out for myself that my mission is to to grow and help help people grow in a way that they can really transform their 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 inner desire in in the in the bigger frame of of their their habit development mm, three three words that describe you mm. thoughtful Yeah, as I said, mentioned thoughtful. I think that this really fits, and um, creative. And empathetic. So, what is um, the best habit that you have learned so far in your life? For me, it's defi definitely the 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 habit of letting yourself the the freedom to be enough. To just be whatever you are, be whoever you are, and and that is totally fine. And uh, life is a journey, so everything you do, everything that you want to do, all your plans, all your visions, all your passions that uh, come along on your way, they are um, they're amazing, and you need the time and the reflection to really see them. And um, for me, this this journey has been very very hard in the beginning because I I thought that I had to be the the perfect student, I had to get all the the A grades, and uh, after school I was like, okay, what's next? What comes after school? Then you have the university, and then you have to get uh, an amazing job and and really climb the ladder of success in in a, in a great big company. So. Um, being 100% being being enough was was a really big deal for me and in the beginning i i couldn't really express my maybe maybe not even numb feeling but kind of um it was it was actually it was an anxiety towards this um this goal of mine because you cannot be perfect it's just not possible you cannot read all the books out there you cannot do all the activities out there it's just not possible I'm I'm very very um, um, curious, and so so all all the things out there they really fascinate me. There are so many topics out there, but you cannot be an expert in all of them. It's just not possible. So having the the the, the power to decide and and put your focus in one direction was kind of um, it, it felt like that, that there is so much pressure for this decision. That I had to, to make this deci decision to really um, narrow it down to something, and this kind of felt like like a mistake to do because I want to be the perfect, you know, I want to be the big guy who who knows everything, and I, I kind of uh, learned on my journey that this isn't um, the thing that that's that's supposed to be because you cannot say that uh, my my um, <laughs> my vision is to be a guru within five years of of time of of uh, getting life experience. You cannot experience everything in five years it's not possible and really understanding this and really letting myself be be perfectly imperfect was something that that really totally totally destroyed my 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 belief of this this perfect world in the perfect way that i have to be and uh, had to live and also the decisions that, uh, that i had to make on the way mm. so what's your best mistake so far or your best uh, lesson learned mm -hmm. i think considering my my older uh, my, my my younger me in in the past i would have said that this is uh, one of the biggest mistakes to just quit university because i thought uh, first that that was the way to go you know after after school after having a great graduation and and um, really really starting to to climb the the career ladder i thought um this is this was just the the, the, the beginning of, of, of your big big journey and I thought okay economics is something that you really love so keep on doing it why not and then I thought um, or maybe maybe not even thought me may, maybe more I felt that it wasn't it wasn't right it didn't feel right and um, 
on my journey, I came across a word which is um, from from Hawaiian origin, which is called pono, P-O-N-O. And it's just an expression of something that is really right, really right balanced. And um, then then I kind of remembered myself that it, it, it was so important that you um, that you really feel the, the the current emotion of your body. You really feel that something is 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 right or not, and you have the um, every everybody has the the, the ability to really um, listen to your body and really li- listen to your feeling and to your to your emotion. In, in nowadays society, everything is about IQ. Everything is about degrees and uh, about um, measurements, about uh, numbers, f- uh, facts, and figures hardly anybody talks about your emotions your how, how did it feel when you achieved that you know achievement is good making money is good but how did you feel when you got the paycheck was it like yeah now i can i don't know pay my bills or was it like i really i really love this this process and um es- especially the, the the thinking between what is process and what is outcome there was something that uh, probably was one of the the, probably the second biggest learning after accepting that I'm good enough because um, if if I want to do something and I only see the outcome then the the problem is that um, I, I, I don't have the, the opportunity to really enjoy the, the, the flow to really enjoy the present moment because I'm, I'm, I'm stuck in my head at my goal I'm, I'm only seeing the vision of my goal I'm only seeing the, the vision of the perfect me uh, having the achievement having the the, the price having the medal in my hand but it's not about the um, the, the, the daily process so um, I, maybe I was just thinking about um, the, the, the the outcome in, in, in a lot of ways in, in a lot of topics I had the outcome in my mind and not the process and uh, just currently uh, six six months ago I learned to play ukulele and this was a totally totally random thing and first i thought um like like for for 20 years of my life i thought uh, not even thought but I, I told everybody that i'm not musical at all i cannot do anything i cannot sing i cannot play any instrument and this was just a, a false belief of myself and then i figured out okay let's let's give it a try and with ukulele this really really um got uh, this this instrument just just brought so many emotions and and um, to to my life, and then really felt uh, the present moment, and that was so beautiful to see. So I, I totally fell in love with this instrument, and now I'm totally in love with the process. I just love playing it, and it doesn't matter what I I want to do with it, or there is no no picture of myself where I want to be in 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 two or five years with the ukulele thing. It is just the being in the present moment and trusting the flow, and this is kind of the approach that I wanna. Um, use for a lot of more things what's the best thing you have ever done in your life uh, probably after quitting university definitely definitely going to hawaii all by myself and just ha- having them an amazing an amazing time there and really um really diving into the nature there and really getting this this groundedness and um, allowing myself that uh, time will always be there and it doesn't matter how fast i run time will always be the the time that i have so why not enjoy it Mm. what advice would you give to aspiring talents young dreamers Mm -hmm. definitely definitely um, be brave it is so freaking hard to be brave. It is so freaking hard to, to stand up against all, probably all odds, uh, probably against society, probably against your family, probably against so many other people that you would disappoint at first. But have the courage, um, stand up for yourself, stand up for your dreams, and then just make it um, step by step, baby step by baby step. It doesn't take much at first, but it is so, so, so worth it. Yeah. So what's your dream at the moment and how can people support you? My dream is uh, to um, to not only um, help people with their with their personal uh, growth but also to sorry there are the flies <laughs> <laughs> but also 
but also to um, help them to, to grow together, to grow together in, in a great uh, community of way where there is so much love and appreciation, where everybody supports each, each other. We have so many talented people out there and uh, just the imagination of, wow, what they could achieve if they would work together in, in, a, in a personal development way, in a way of emotional intelligence, it's blowing my mind. So um, I think that is, that is currently my, my, my biggest passion to work towards that and just figure out uh, a way that, that feels bono for myself mm. on, on this process, in, in this, on, on my journey. Thanks for the interview. Your dream, your dream matters. <laughs>